Hey everyone, George here, and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about a subject that's a little bit controversial, and it's also a subject that I feel is kind of hard to talk about because it's just part of uh, our everyday lives, uh, things that we have to do, and that's euthanizing your fish if necessary. Uh, it's a it's a real tough subject because we do get connected to fish that we've had for years. Uh, some fish only have, uh, guppies for example, have a life expectancy of a year, year and a half, and that's it. So we don't really get that connected to uh, those kinds of fish, but fish like discus and angels and any of the larger centerpiece fishes, it is really difficult when you have to uh, take the time to put them down. So in this segment here, we are going to talk about euthanizing and the best ways to do that, the most humane way to do that. So hang in there with me, and when we come back, we'll talk about that. It's a really good subject to cover. It's difficult, as I said, but something that's necessary. We'll talk to you in just a second. So as I said in my intro, this is a subject that is not particularly fun to talk about, but it is a, uh, a necessary thing to do, and that is euthanizing fish that uh, are not doing well. They're either sick, uh, they're going to die inevitably, they have some kind of an incurable disease, they're deformed. Uh, there's lots of different things uh, and scenarios that could take place where you would have to euthanize a fish. And we don't think about it, but doing it correctly is very, very important. So uh, what I want to talk about today is some of the ways in which you can euthanize a fish. Not everybody has uh, on hand uh, the things necessary to do that, but I want to talk about a few things that maybe you can keep on hand if you have uh, several tanks and you have fish that you really, really care about and you get into a situation where you have to euthanize them, uh, flushing them down the toilet is a big no-no. It's not something that we should ever, ever do uh, because studies show that uh, fish do suffer. Sometimes they live for two, three hours in shockingly cold water, uh, sewage, any number of different things that can create an environment of pain for them. And uh, there's a question about whether fish even feel pain, uh, but I believe they do. In fact, I, I've seen studies where even certain types of plants out there have a nervous system of sorts or a sensory system of sorts where, um, you know, they, they react uh, to touch and whatever. And uh, I'm sure we've all experienced that. But getting back to what we're talking about here, and that is the proper way to euthanize a fish. And I want to go from the number one way to doing it. And there's five different things that I'm going to cover here. These are all things that uh, should be easy for you to keep on hand or maybe already have in your home. Uh, the number one way is pure clove oil. That is the highest recommended way to euthanize a fish because it serves as a, um, uh, a way of putting a fish to sleep very quickly and a lethal dose of that is pure clove oil and that's something you can get at any supermarket. Uh, typically uh, it's right in that section where your spices and all that stuff are or oils of any kind. So uh, that would be the number one way to do that. Now there is a formula for that and I'm not going to explain that in this video because it would take too long, but uh, I will put that in the comment section. Uh, any of these that require a formula, I will add that down in my information or my comment section so that you can re uh, reference back to this and be able to euthanize a fish uh, in a very humane way. Now these are all uh, ways that are approved by the National Veterinary Association and uh, so these are things that are tried and true and acceptable uh, to that industry. So 
Uh, the second way in which you can do this is if you don't have a, a lot of clove oil on hand and you want to use the clove oil method, there is a second way to do that, and that is a mixture of clove oil and Elka-Seltzer. Again, as I said, there is a formula for this, but that's something that uh, we will uh, have to put in the, uh, the comment section down below for you, and I will pin that to the top so it's right at the top of the comment section and uh, you'll be able to find it very quickly. But clove oil and Elka-Seltzer, I know that's a weird combination to you and uh, sounds kind of strange, but it, it is a approved method and it is very, very effective. Now, the third way to euthanize a fish very quickly is to get a bowl of ice with water in it and submerse the fish in it and it will shock them very quickly, just as it would a human being if they were out in ice water for any period of time, uh, they would die very quickly. Uh, it doesn't take long and it's so shocking to the fish that they absolutely lose consciousness and do not feel anything. And uh, you can just leave them in there uh, for five, six minutes or whatever and know that humanely they are gone. And at that point you can dispose of them however you want to. Um, the fourth way is a little bit more um, savage in my opinion, but it is an approved way. I was kind of shocked to find out that this is an approved way, but that is to decapitate the fish very quickly. And uh, I don't know the best way to do that because uh, I've never had to do it, uh, but uh, that is an approved way by the National Veterinary Association for also euthanizing a fish. Um, my guess is just like, uh, you know, the old guillotine uh, used to be used in France and places around the world in, in um, older times, and uh, that's a very swift way of, of taking a life. And uh, I would guess that doing that with a fish it makes sense to me. Now, none of these things are things that we want to do, and that is a crude way of doing it, but it is, um, it, it is considered a humane way. And I know that uh, uh, some of you are not going to be able to stomach doing that. So, as I said earlier, if you keep some of these other things on hand, that is the best way to do it, the most humane way. But uh, if you don't and you want to humanely euthanize a fish, uh, that is the best and quickest way to do it uh, if you don't have any other way at all. Now, the last way here is something, again, that I think is not something that I would want to do, but it is something that uh, is approved, again, uh, by those who are in the industry and those who know how to euthanize a fish and that is to put a lethal dose of medication in a, uh, a small uh, jar or whatever size your fish happens to be, uh, whatever container size is necessary and that is to put in a lethal dose of something that will kill them very quickly. Now, I, again, will put in the comment section what those medications might be so that you understand when you're doing this uh, that these are methods that, and, and medications that are approved for, uh, you know, taking the fish and euthanizing it very quickly. So, uh, nothing we do here is anything we want to do that is going to cause pain for the fish. If a fish is sick, deformed, dying, they're suffering anyway. And it's, it's kind of like you're doing them a favor. It's not like they're going to come out of this. Uh, I, I have, however, seen fish come out of things that I thought were impossible. I had a tank full of discus at one time that all got this uh, slime coat disease where their, their slime coat was just shedding. And uh, that's something that those of you who have been in the industry for a long time, or in the hobby, I should say, for a long time, 
uh, you know what that disease is. And it, it can be very, very difficult to watch your fish just have their slime coat just coming off. And I didn't think the fish would make it. And uh, believe it or not, every fish in that discus tank came back. And uh, in fact, I have all of them today still. So again, a difficult subject to talk about, but something I thought was necessary and uh, something that I hope you will reference back to if you ever need to do this or maybe just take some notes. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be happy to get back with you. Typically, I will get back to you within 24 hours uh, of the comment uh, that you make or the question that you have. And also like with a big thumbs up this video and subscribe. Uh, if you uh, haven't done that, I really appreciate it if you would take the time to give me a like on the video and subscribe as well. That really helps me build the channel. The channel's building. Uh, again, I don't make a living off this channel. I do have other work that I do. This is a hobby for me, but I really enjoy teaching people about fish and uh, all the different aspects of uh, fish keeping. So, uh, you know, but... There are certain things that, like giveaways and things like that that are important that I have the ability to do those kinds of things. And by having the channel grow, by having you like and subscribe is very important to me. So I really appreciate that. Also, hit that bell up there so that you know when I have a new video coming out, you'll be one of the first ones to see it. Uh, that is a really handy little thing to have. And if you want to do a little favor for me and hit that thanks uh, with the dollar sign button on it there, I'm not asking that you do that. I'm just saying if you feel compelled to do that and you like my videos and you want to support my channel in that way, you can always hit that. That's always appreciated. And uh, those of you who do that already, I want you to know that it is very, very appreciated and uh, something that... Uh, again, is uh, very humbling to me and very, uh, very nice gesture on your part. So again, thank you for joining me today. That's all I got for you. Again, a tough subject, but something that I felt that was necessary for us to sort of tackle a little bit and uh, talk about. Uh, I was going to do a demo for you. I don't have any sick fish to do that. And I also thought that's kind of a rough thing for somebody to have to watch. So I, and I'm not even sure YouTube would have approved of it. But uh, anyways, thank you for joining me. We will see you on the next one. Until then, I'm out of here.